Yeah, getting money, I promise I feel like losing my empathy Give a fuck what they talking about, you the hoe, I'm your enemy Pussy sweeter than fruity loops, such the sky do the hula hoops 2020, this shit be cool, beat on me, okay, she's tweaking cool Yeah, tell myself to Hey y'all, it's Kimmy Motherfucking Vane. Y'all already know what it is. You clicked the video, but um, I'm at work as usual and I'm about to get on this floor. It's my first stage set. I got some food on the section after I ate and girl, why were you almost fought in the fucking section? Like, hold on. After that whack ass section, girl, let me tell y'all what happened. But hey, bitch, I had to refilm this shit so many fucking times. I filmed this at least twice, y'all, and the audio keeps being fucked up, so hopefully this shit works. If not, then the audio just gotta be fucked up. If you're listening to this and it sounds fucked up, bitch, I tried. Bitch, I tried everything I could do. Like, this is what it is. I'm doing my best, okay? But anyway, bitch. Um,. I went to work and I was telling y'all, I don't think I told y'all about my other dance partner, but let me tell y'all what the fuck happened. So, like, the other day we was in a section, right? It was really, 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 really dead the whole night. So, it was like, the club closed at 6 in the morning. So, it was like 4 a.m. until we finally got a good section and we stayed in that section for mad long and they gave us mad money. It was great. So, boom, the night that we did that, it was like a section comes in. I told y'all I don't like doing section clubs for this exact reason because it was like ten of these girls, ten Spanish girls that pulled up to the section after we was already there. We were the first two girls in the section, and these Spanish girls pulled up to the section, and it's bitch the BBO brigade, and they literally tried to fuck up the section, tried to harass us out the section, and we're sitting there like this is all bad, this fuck. So there was enough guys in the section for everybody to be paid, which makes sense for us. It was only two of us splitting a bag, and then like ten of them splitting like two hundred dollars. Like, bitch, that don't make no sense. Why would you stay in a section for like thirty plus minutes for you to split a bag between ten other girls, and it's only two hundred dollars for the whole bag? Like, y'all are splitting two hundred dollars. That don't make no sense. So after they did that, we grabbed a little bag, we let them have it, which we have the rest of the section. They only ended up throwing like twenty more dollars at them. And then we did to find a different section and we made a bag over there. So on this night, the same shit happened. It's like nothing happening in the club. And then it hits 4 a.m. And then all of a sudden, everybody in, the, in their fucking mama wanted to be in the fucking club. Like, but so it was this big, tall guy. We see him at the ATM. And honestly, y'all, if y'all go to the club and you see somebody at the ATM and it's a big nigga, and he has a fanny pack on and he's at the ATM, you're gonna get paid, I promise you. I don't know what it is about that fucking fanny pack, but a big nigga with a fanny pack, he's gonna throw ones. I promise you, at least 500, I promise you. Like, big niggas and fanny packs are like the best ones in the club. I don't know what it is. Like, when you see that fanny pack, especially when it be like a Louis Vuitton fanny pack or a Gucci fanny pack, like, y'all know the one. I'm gonna put it right here, but y'all know the one. When you see that, you're gonna get paid that night, period. So we see this nigga at the ATM with the fucking fanny pack on and he this big nigga and we like, bet, like this is it, this is the bag. So we came at the ATM, we came to stand in the section. Mind you y'all, we got we saw him from when he walked into the club, cause the ATM's at the at the front of the door. So we saw him by the time we walked into the club and by the time we walked into the club, we were already on fast, okay? So it was just me and my dance partner. And we have him sit in the section, we talking to his friend, whatever, whatever. And then his other friend goes and gets a thousand and one. So we like, okay, like we are, we like you're literally already talking to us. We gonna be in your section. You got a thousand one, like is lit. So he's like, where y'all wanna sit? We bring him to the VIP section to sit, and he put the money on the table, bitch. The second this nigga put the thousand dollars on the fucking table, here come the fucking Spanish BBO brigade, all ten of them pulling up to the section. Speaking Spanish, this nigga is from Miami apparently, so like he's like he's used to the fucking BBO brigade. But he got me to dance and then this other Spanish girl. Now she's like a Spanish bitch with a BBO, like the classic Miami or like Starless. If you ever dance at Starless, y'all know what I'm talking about. 
But she, the reason why I fuck with her is because these fucking clubs and the East Coast, if you dance in Philly and Jersey or New York, it's like, if you dark skin, bitch, good fucking luck. <laughs> like, good luck. I don't know what to tell you, but those niggas like Spanish girls. Like, that is what they like. I don't want to tell you. It's not the South. I don't want to tell you. But she cool, though, because... The reason why we started dancing together is because she was like, oh, these bitches is racist. I already know how it is. Like, you trying to get into the section, girl, come up. Like, come here, you two. Come to the section and talk to Spanish bitches. And ever since she did that, we've been, like, dancing together and making it back together. So, she's looking at these bitches like, y'all ain't shit. She's talking to them in Spanish. I don't know what they're saying, but, bitch, I can tell when bitches are beefing, like, no matter what the language. So, I'm like, damn, they beefing. Like, I'm sitting here looking at him, like... And I don't want to argue with front of their customers, like, that's not me, but this bitch, the second these bitches came over, she just started yelling at them, like, bitches, why the fuck are you here, blah, 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 blah. Because it's like, realistically, though, if you see two guys, it don't matter how much money is on that table, if you see two guys and you already see two girls with them, what makes y'all think that all ten of y'all can just come up to the section after the fact, like, there's already money thrown on the floor, like, why the fuck are y'all here? So they start arguing, and then I guess like the the fucking the, the ringleaders of the Spanish of the fucking Spanish brigade, whatever. She's like the loudest, and she's yelling at my dance partner. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know. So I just turn to the guy, and I'm just like trying to talk to him about literally anything. I'm talking about bullshit, just so we won't like realize that bitches are fucking fighting, even though it's real obvious and it's real loud. I'm like, I'm just trying to keep it on some strip club shit, like, you know what I mean? Just trying to be cute and shit still, so they can still throw money. I didn't want them to be like, damn, this bitch is beefing. But when he realized what we was beefing about and why everyone in the section was yelling, he was like, nah, because y'all came up here and you asked me for my name, you walked me to my seat, you did everything you were supposed to do, and these girls came up after the fact. They didn't talk to me until they saw the one. So, I don't want them in the section. They aren't going to come in here beefing and shit. And I'm like, exactly. Thank you. Exactly. A Miami nigga. Miami, Miami Atlanta niggas know what the fuck's going on. Like, they go to the strip club all the time. So, I'm like, yes. Exactly. Like, you didn't even ask this nigga his fucking name. You didn't do shit. You just saw one. So, you put up the section. Like, no, we're not doing that. That's not what's happening. So, he himself personally was like, nah. I don't want them over here. And then one of the girls called the manager and he told the manager, like, I don't want them over here. I want only these two girls over here. And we was like, period, period. I just came back from the bed and they told me, you still not that girl. Because why would you think like, okay, it was really slow this day, y'all. And I'm the type, you can come to my section, even if I don't know you, if it's slow as fuck, because I get it. Sometimes you're slow, you just gotta be like a little grimy, okay? I feel you, but. I'm like, despite the fact that it was slow, the way y'all pulled up to this shit and just literally yelling at us, like, why the fuck would you come to the section yelling and beefing with us and you think that we're gonna, like, scoot over so you can come over here and dance with us? Like, nah, bitch, like, y'all go find something to do. There's 10 of y'all. There's 10 of y'all. There's 10 of y'all and there's only a thousand dollars. There's 10 of y'all. Like, be for real. Be for real. And it's, like, 4 in the morning, so realistically, this is probably my last section of the night. Like... I'm about to give this fool thousand dollars. Like, what are you talking about? And I mean, this girl gonna split it five hundred each. That makes sense. Like, if you're in a section, you split it five hundred each. That makes perfect sense. Bitch, ten of y'all, for real. We all gonna stay in the section for two hours to make a hundred dollars. Be for real. Like, that don't make sense. Like, I don't like dancing at clubs where they do sections and shit for that exact reason. I'm not splitting a bag with 10, 20 bitches. Like, that don't make no sense. But I can just go sell a VIP room for the same price, and I'll only be in the VIP room for 15 minutes. Like, be for real. But anyway, it fucking worked out. They was fried. And they just walked around the club sad. And then ever since that day, every time we pass these bitches, they always look at us crazy. And it's always like a weird, like, beef now. And when I pass by them, they be talking in Spanish. I don't know what they saying, but I'm like, bitch, like, if you're not saying it in where I can understand, I don't really feel a fuck. Like, I don't speak Spanish. Like, which I'm not going to beef with you because you said something. And I don't even know what the fuck you said. Like, I'm not going to beef with you when you're speaking your language. Like, if you're not saying it to my face where I can understand it, I really don't care. To be honest. I 
And then my dance partner, I don't know what the fuck they were saying to her, but they was beat, like, this bitch was fucking taking off the heels and shit. And I'm like, God damn, like, it's literally, like, how many, how many, there's like 10 of y'all and there's two of us. Like, is it really that serious? Is it really that serious? It really isn't. Y'all can split up. Y'all don't have to be, like, dancing together. I feel like the girls that dance together, like, four or five of y'all in a group don't really be doing shit. So I'm like, what? Like, what money are you spending to where four or five of y'all are really making it back? Like, how, like, that don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. But that's what happened. And he was really, he did not like that shit. He was like, you know, come to my section beeping. I get not a good time. Uh, like, why would you think that was going to work? Why? What was the game plan? Like, stripper Avengers. That's what that looked like. The BBL Brigade. For real. This right here, and this right here. So this six twenty. Period. That's that. And also, I was like, about fucking. If you're dancing, I don't know if it's gonna concern anywhere else for real. But if you're dancing in New York, bitch, um, the monkey park shit, bitch, the ooh uh ah, -uh, like I'm a little scared. Like COVID was scary, but like. Monkey punks make you ugly. That shit look crazy as fuck. And if I'm dancing, like, it's a real concern. This shit is skin on skin. And I'm scared to get the fucking ooh uh uh. But bitch, y'all need to wash your hands, change your outfits frequently, and don't be a dirty bitch. If you don't get the ooh uh uh. Because I feel like in a strip club, that shit would be so easy to catch. Like, that shit's scary. Don't be dirty. Don't be weird. Wash your fucking hands. Y'all should have been washing your hands, but I feel like some of you are not washing your hands. But like, wash your fucking hands. When you're done counting your money, especially, wash your fucking hands. The money is so fucking dirty. Money is so nasty. Like, I really, I probably get the fucking monkey pox for money more than the club, for real. But if you're a cashier, or if you're in a strip club, or if you just bitch a human being, just don't be dirty, bitch. Wash your fucking hands. Bitch, the ooh ah ah. Bitch, the ooh ah ah is real. That monkey box shit is real. Especially if in New York, like, no. I've seen it on people in New York in public. In Soho. I was like, ew, like that's monkey box. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, that shit is gross. I don't want that shit. I don't want to participate. I don't want it. Like. Ew. Don't get the ooh ah ah and mind your business in the clubs. Like, don't be trying to fucking do ten bitches a section and waste your time. And you only made a hundred dollars in that section. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. But that's it. Um, okay. But I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay sexy. And bitch, subscribe. If you made it this far to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, don't be weird. Don't be a weird bitch. Subscribe. It's free. Like, it's free.com. Just subscribe. And that's it. And if you're already subscribed, turn the bell on. Make sure y'all know when I upload. I be uploading randomly. And yeah, that's it. And we're gonna bring this to the thing. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.